Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the Lake District. It's my first trip back here since last October and it is precipitating very heavily today. It's going to be a real challenge to take any images and to make a film today, but I'm going to do my best. So we've pitched up at Borrowdale Caravan Site, which is a beautiful spot. It's right in the Manistee Woods at the foot of Cat Bells. If any of you are caravanners or got motorhomes out there, it's a fantastic site. To get here, it's a bit harem scarum on that last five mile trek from Keswick through the narrow Borrowdale roads and up through the village of Grange over the narrow stone bridge that traverses the Derwent River. But it's well worth the effort. It's a fantastic spot, peaceful, quiet. We've got red squirrels, we've got deer and you're in such a fantastic location within just a few minutes walk of the shores of Derwent Water. And uh, that's the subject of my film today, exploring the shores of Derwent Water. I've taken a walk from the caravan through the woods down to the side of Derwent Water and I'm going to explore the shores and see what images we can capture. That is weather permitting of course and these lenses not fogging up. Neither of my cameras are weather sealed so it's going to be a real challenge, but hey, we'll see what we can do. So please join me on the trip and let's see what we can capture. So I've literally only come a few minutes walk from the caravan and already I've got my first image. I don't know if you can see behind me, that's Castle Crag. That's actually the lowest of all the 214 Wainwrights in the Lake District. And it's the only one which is below a thousand feet. So that's the subject of my first image. We've got the boardwalk, which is acting as a leading line, drawing your eye through the scene to Castle Crag. So I'll get set up, take that image, and I'll uh, put that one up for you to have a look at now. shooting in the rain really is a challenge and trying to photograph is hard enough but trying to make a film as well is intensely difficult. So for this second shot I've wandered north up the shores of Derwent Water to Manistee Bay. I'm looking to capture the bay here with the rocks and the fence post leading out into the lake with the wooded area in the background. So there's possibly another image to be had here with these beautifully sculptured and textured rocks on the shore of Derwent Water leading out across the lake with a view of Walla Crag and then shrouded in cloud Blencathra and more of the Lake District Fells. So if either of those images are any good I shall put those up for you as well.
and wandering the shoreline, we have this little lone tree sticking out on the crag here. And you know I have a penchant for lone trees. So I'm gonna try and get an image of this one. So what's really attracted me to this particular young sapling is the colour contrast of the green leaves against the black sky, the grey water, the black of the granite that stretches out underneath and acts as an anchor point to the image. I dare say this image might look very good in black and white, but I can't help but process this one in colour as the green leaves are going to provide such a stark contrast to the grey, dull, black, cloudy, irrepressible stormy skies that we have here today. Got some lovely layers in the background with the cloud being really low in the sky covering the fells. So I'm going to try and get an image here and again if that one comes out I'll put that one up for you. so unforgiving and trying to photograph or make a film in these conditions is just absolutely incredibly difficult and hard but as you know despite the weather it's great to be outside it's fantastic to be in the great outdoors so as you know my channel inspires you to get outside into nature into the great outdoors and experience the landscape from where I share my photography trips, travels and adventures, even if it is absolutely pouring down and the rain is belting from the heavens above. So from a very wet, rainy, damp, miserable, dark, cloudy lakeside position on Durham water, thank you ever so much for watching. Thanks very much for your support. Everybody out there, take care, stay safe, be good. And until next time, goodbye.